Okay, guys, we are at the 2023 Academy of Osseo Integration meeting here in Phoenix, and I am at the Hugh Freedy booth with Jennifer, and I really want to bring to your attention a, a new product line that they came out with in the last couple of years that I, I'm very fond of, but uh, since I've got Jennifer here, we can actually show you a whole variety of some of their instruments that they have. So, uh, Jennifer, you've been with the company for a while? Uh, I've been there for 13 years, so... Yeah. Oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a good tenure. So as you guys know on the channel, I like to work with companies that are that are that have the right values system. And so Hugh Freedy is one of the companies that I work with, and I've always been very impressed with their value system, and um, not not only their quality of their products, but their their values. And if they don't understand what that means, then um, just give me a call offline, and we'll talk about what values are. Okay. So let's get started. We're gonna I'm gonna zoom in real close here and show you this product line. So we'll come in here. We'll start right here. We've got as you can see, a variety of different instruments. But the interesting thing is, notice with my, even with my intense light here, that there's something different. Jennifer, what's going on here? So there's a coating in these instruments. And it's actually great that you have this intense light because it really showcases how it absorbs that light. So when you're using it, you know, in the office and you have the bright lights and you have the high magnification, it really helps to just provide really nice contrast where you're using it infraorally. And then also, because it's absorbing that light, things aren't reflecting back into your eyeballs. Um, not only that, but it's aluminum titanium nitride. Super thin coating. Um, what it also does is it's more on lubricities, so it sticks less to stuff. So if you're using, you know, uh, your materials, bone, anything like that, it's going to not be as sticky. Uh, so this is pretty new for us and it's been out for a handful of years. Um, I know a lot of folks when they stop by the booth are kind of blown away when they see it. Um, and just kind of an, a newer item for us. Great. Let's go. Let's pan over here to the mirror, which is one of my big fan. I'm a big fan of this mirror here. Mm -hmm. Same product, same surface. Right. And here you can kind of see, I'm not sure if you can pick it up in the uh, camera that you have, but here it's it's showcasing the difference between our HD mirror and a standard mirror. Oh, I do see that in the mirror. And then we get the light out of the way. There we go. We can see that clearly. So what does that do for us? So that just provides more clarity, um, just a clear image when you're using it. And then again, with the black coating, it provides that really nice contrast when you're using it intraorally. Again, you're not going to have light bouncing off a stainless steel, shiny surface going all over the place and kind of learning your vision. Yeah. So, you know, in dentistry, as, as all of us that are, that are you know, actually doing dentistry on a day-in and day-out basis, we're constantly looking for ways to to increase our longevity, right? So we want to reduce our, our neck strain. So we want to have good ergonomics and such. And, and here is a great opportunity uh, to move the football down the field. So if you look to these traditional shiny instruments, they're kicking light back into our eyes which creates eye strain throughout the day. And so to have a product that has this nice anodized surface like this, and it's dark, you don't get that extra eye strain. And I don't know, you know, at the end of the day, there's no way to really quantitatively add up how, how good this does, right? I mean, you, you can't go home and say, wow, I used my black mirror today and, and I feel so much better. But collectively, if you use this across the board with your instruments, it's got to be better on your eyes, right? Less strain has got to be better. And so, especially if you're, you know, younger in your career and you're looking for longevity, this is a great product. And Pat Allen has it on his uh, end cutting. Is this his here? It's, yep. Uh, this is one of Pat Allen's instruments he uses with his perio kits that I'm very fond of. And it's the end cutting uh, instrument. So you can go into the sulcus and you can separate the periodontal ligaments around the neck of your teeth for a tunneling procedure. And what's neat about this is with the black anodized tissue, or the, not tissue, but black anodized metal, when you slide it underneath the tissue, you can actually see it through moderate to thin phenotypes. You can actually see the black showing through. So you can see the tip of your instrument underneath the soft tissue as you're, as you're doing your elevations. So he's got it in, um, in his kit. He also has the, um, the um, uh, Orban knives as well that he has in that kit as well. And so 
uh, in addition to the reduction in eye strain, it does work really, really nicely for uh, seeing the product inside of the tissue while you're working. Infrared, yeah, correctly. Being able to actually see it when it's some genital is another bonus. Yeah, the coating. Yeah, and the lubricity is great. So you, no one likes to have clumpy stuff on their uh, on their instruments. Clumpiness is something that we try to avoid. Yeah, and no one wants to have uh, those little rocks coming out of hygiene or you know out of the out of sterilizer. You know, it's not good. So, anything else we should know about this, Jennifer? I don't think so. I mean, the other the other thing that's really nice too is just the handle on this is nice to see you loop. And so um, again, we yeah, talking about cartilage or rings of wands um, things. I think because it has that super slick smooth handle, it's not going to gather material as much. So it's a lot easier to me. Um, to your side, and then also going through. So, you know, so you've got the traditional kind of rougher instruments like this. Maybe this one here has a roughened surface, right? Mm -hmm. What, doctors may be wondering, okay, so you got a smooth surface. Is it going to be slippery in my hands? Am I, am I going to lose, you know, if I got some heme or saliva, is it going to be too slippery? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's definitely a question that's come up before. And we've not had any feedback of it being too slick or slippery. I mean, you have gloves on, but of course it's going to have, you're going to still have that grip to it. It's not going to slide out of your hand or anything. Good. That's great. All right. So guys, if you're interested in this, this is the Hugh Freedy booth here at AO. Uh, talk to your Hugh Freedy rep and uh, get on bar with these black ones and save your eyes for longevity. This has been another episode of Implants Made Simple. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, Smile Engineer, out.